everybody. It is our favorite time of the week. Time for Rising Cues, where we get to answer your questions. Sagar, what have we got up first? Number one from Lev Grosshandler. Do you think Barack Obama should clarify if he endorses Bloomberg or not in light of the mayor's Obama-focused campaign ads? Lev, yes. The answer is yes. Yes, yeah. he should. He's not going to, but he yeah. should. Um, yeah, I mean, Bloomberg, I mean, Lezzet Jelani was on the, po I think, the yeah, post-debate panel talking about how so many people think that Obama has endorsed Bloomberg, so much so that Obama's own campaign manager, David Pluff, said that somebody came up to him in the gym and was like, hey, why did Obama endorse Michael Bloomberg? Yeah. Because all of these ads in which it appears that he does. I mean, honestly, I can't hate him for it. A smart campaign strategy. Smart. And Joe Biden did the same darn thing, mm -hmm. you know, and Obama didn't clarify then either. Yeah, this is even so more it, He has it, a it more, more claim to it. Biden yeah. has, does have much more right. of a claim, but, you know, I mean, a lot of them have grabbed whatever nice thing Obama has said. Pete's done the same thing. Whatever nice thing Obama said about it and stuck it in a campaign right. ad. He doesn't want to get his hands dirty politically. That's fine. I guess I'd rather him stay out than dive all the way in. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if he has a feeling about it, he should say it. Yeah, certainly. All right. All right. Next question. This is pretty interesting. What are your thoughts on Andrew Yang joining CNN as a political commentator? Will it mm. help him build credibility? What do you think, Sagar? Well, so I was kind of baffled by Andrew's um, decision to join CNN because I thought he would do much better in a podcast YouTube space. But he announced yesterday he is having a podcast and launching a podcast for the Yang Gang. So I yep. guess he can do two things at the same time. Yep. I think in that, as long as he cultivates a real following with independent media, because that's where I think he really belongs. He was always a creation of that from the very beginning. That's like his, he's almost like too smart for CNN, right? Like, I feel like the guy is just so operating on a different level that people on CNN, like CNN political pundits, literally just won't be able to understand what he's saying. And that's part yeah. of the issue. I think CNN was very smart to grab yeah, him. That's right. I said and CNN I like, needs Yang. Yang doesn't Yang need does not. He does not right. need them. But I, I actually do think it's important to, um, and this is why I go on CNN, I think it's important to have those independent voices in the mainstream mm -hmm. to try to mainstream those ideas. So from that perspective, I do think it is important. Um, but yeah, he's, he certainly doesn't need them. I mean, he no. could jump up on YouTube tomorrow and have a massive audience, mm -hmm. be very influential and create a whole separate discussion. But apparently he's able to do that as well. Yeah, so if, that's as long great. as he can do both, I think it's great. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's always good to see I, I love seeing people grapple with people like Andrew Yang whenever he's, you know, on because they're just they literally don't have because the processing. They, they power. only know how to think about like Democrat, Republican, Democrat, mm -hmm. Republican. So if you and I've experienced this too when I say something yeah. that doesn't fit the mold and it's like they literally can't process it because it doesn't fit into this right. very so simplistic blue versus red narrative. And so he really challenges that, which is which is a cool thing for all of us to get mm -hmm. to watch. By the way, I saw he posted ideas for guests for his podcast. You know, oh, we yeah. would certainly, yeah, have we on. would certainly love to have yeah. you. That'd be fun to have the roles reversed awesome. there. That would be yeah. pretty cool. All right, last one from Ban Private Jets. Coverage of the primaries on climate change arguably falls behind the interests of the Democratic voters show for the issue. Why is that? Is environmental protection still perceived as a luxury concern? Nobody dares versus the grim reality. Hashtag rising cues twice. You know what's um, you know what's funny? I have a specific story mm. about this, and it's it's been a few years since I was at MSNBC, of course. But when I was there, the conventional wisdom, which is not based on anything, I mean the ratings data there and everything's mm -hmm. very imprecise. So things are always very much based on gut feelings in cable news uh, from a yes. group of people who have very bad gut instincts, mm -hmm. um, and the gut feeling there was climate change doesn't rate. That's what I was told would be people don't care, climate change doesn't rate. I was also told that, um, and this was running up into the 2016 election, that trade, that no one cares right. about trade. So that tells <laughs> Ended you- Ended up being the most pivotal thing. Right, in the, our, that tells election. you how in touch they are right. with what you know their own viewers and not to mention most of the country actually care about. I mean, um, you see one of the biggest youth movements in our country and, and also the world is around climate. All of these networks are very concerned about the age the, the older nature of their demographics, this would be a great way to bring more young people into watching their coverage. Um, you also see consistently in primary polling that it is the second most important issue for Democratic primary voters after health care. So, you know, all the data that you need is, is there to understand that this is a deeply important issue to many, many voters, to many, many young people, and not to mention just like, you know, your 
journalist, you should be covering such an important issue or time. Totally. Yeah, I mean, I, that, this, is a, this is an interesting thing, and I think it just belies the fact that most issues of major importance are not covered on cable um, mo because I don't think they even understand the indicators to look at. This is, you know, zooming out from climate. You have to look at the manufacturing index. Like I, there was yeah. a huge debate online yesterday about the way that we calculate wages and wage growth in this country. Hmm. And oh, like, I saw that. Yeah, for my friend Oren Cass. Yeah. I mean, it got over 5,000 retweets. Like all these people were engaging, and you're just not going to hear about that. And it's because it's that is that is the bedrock of like how we measure society, growth, and all these. I think that. I mean, I think the success of this show and of a lot of independent, non-mainstream platforms is that we're willing to go into these things. So I guess in a way, I hope they keep not doing it. So. <laughs> it's <laughs> good right. for us. Good for our audience. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your questions. Yeah. As always, we always appreciate it. And we'll see you back here soon. See you next week.